Well, listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today in this unimportant review, yeah, we're still doing the unimportant reviews for these because I'm still in the hospital, so I don't have a lot of time to edit. <laughs> so uh, I want to get this review of the Essex Monstars Hedora, the 50th anniversary special set. Yeah, Not it sure. Gets, it gets the reviews out, right? I like that it's a special set, but this is the first time it's been out, so. What well, makes it special? I was going to ask you about Could it just that? be just a general release? I was going to ask you about that, but I was like, yeah, I better not dig into certain things, you know? Yeah, I'm just rolling with it. One thing that makes me sad is I know I'm going to throw this box out after we get done with this review, but I really love this packaging. But I don't got any more space for just cardboard boxes. Yeah, it's not like I plan. Like, out of all, like, a lot of my Godzilla stuff, this is... These guys are, like, the ones that are safe. <laughs> yeah. If I ever decide to start selling things, these guys are 100% probably, like, the last thing going. Them and Bandai Vinyls. Bandai Vinyls are the good collect, because they're just... Just so many. Yeah. So much more. Like, if I, like, at least, like, I still have, like, selling everything else, I will still have the exact same amount of representation in my collection with Bandai <laughs> Vinyls and Monster Arts. Because <laughs> everything else is just, like, extras, but I think they're cool. But anyways, uh, main reason I got this, just new Monster Arts. Wanted to snag it up before it goes up in price, because it probably will inevitably. Um, I'm hoping they do a landform version, because this box that came with every version of Hedora in the film, minus that one. Because that one would be like another full articulated figure, so I understand why we didn't get two of them in a the box. But would have been cool, but it was already at $200 to get a hold of this thing. So, what? definitely don't want it to go up any higher. I'm sorry, what? Yes, 200 bucks. It's slightly cheaper than Biolante. Oh. But you get a lot of, pla well, rubber. I guess you get a lot of rubber with this one. It's the soft plastic. Well, anyways, without further ado, for its packaging, you get so much psychedelic tripness. I kind of wish it was actually a brighter colored box. I get why they use the more mute colors with the swirls like you see in the movie because it matches Hedorah's color scheme. Yeah. But because of the more like disco era like psychic feels for this, I almost wish this had like more like pinks, like sort of like this, like pinks and yellows and everything. I think that's like what keep were... keep him dark, but everything else around it to make him pop out of the package more. This should have. I mean I don't understand the background, but you know what the heck do I know? Yeah, because no, no, to top... me it looks like lava it doesn't look like trash, you know. It's supposed to look like um, you know, like when you put a bunch of paint in water, yeah, and he swirled around. It's kind of like I, I think that's literally the effect. Uh, but you get Hedora on the side here, it done in black and white. Stop side, more of the name back of the package. Just shows you everything it comes with, some of the stuff it can do, some legal mumbo jumbos on the bottom. Anyways, Hedora's currently hanging out on the floor. So, now that we got him open up by this cardboard prison, first and foremost, it comes with a crap ton of accessories. You know what it still angers me? Is that every time we get a random kaiju, they come with a bunch of stuff and it makes me happy and I love them. But every time we get a Godzilla, it never comes with anything and it makes me sad why I bought it. I do notice that it's like <laughs> they're focusing more on all these side characters, but Godzilla. It's just, like every they like they know we're gonna buy the Godzilla, right? Yeah. So we don't have to get anything, but they gotta kind of spoon feed us <laughs> the other guys to make us want to buy them. But anyways, for Hedora, it comes with the little tadpole in the pile of poo. No, who no what? The tadpole form. So you know in the movie where it's like in the muck about the jump at the boy? Yeah. That's what this is. Really? Yep. So what's cool is it's actually translucent with some metallic to it. It's got little bumps and bubbles in the muck. To kind of, again, just to kind of make it look toxic. You can even see the one thing I like or draw is that it has the little butt for his face. So it has the resting points. Oh, actually, that's kind of neat right there. Yeah. And then you also get full form. Tadpole. So you oh, you get like a nice evolving. yeah. So you get a nice little display if you just want to have it just chilling on the chilling on the table, which is how I'm gonna have it displayed. Actually, I think this thing's really dope. I almost kind of wish it came with more sludge. You know, like it was barfing its body on yeah. top of Godzilla. That'd be cool. Oh man, it could have came with that and a Godzilla head. Just like a pile of poop with a Godzilla head poking out. Like, please, God, no. <laughs> Stop BCCing all over me. But anyways, little tadpole head is sweet. Eyes. 
Not the straightest thing, but I'll forgive them. Kind of expected at this point. Actually, going to adjust the lighting a little bit just so you guys can see it a little better. But one thing I will say, and it's kind of the trend with this figure, is that the eyes look really dark to me, and they're kind of hard to distinguish from the actual body. Like especially the table it here, is it is super dark. dark. Like with your table and me back here in the background, it's like you can't even tell anything. It just looks like a little turd. Yeah, I was going to say, oddly enough, I know with the dark background, a lot of the stuff, it like especially with this, kind of blends in very well. I like, too, that has the little hands on the bottom. Molded in. You can't really see where the feet would be, but it's got the long, slender, like, fin back here. Overall, pretty sweet. And then this also has its own little display stand, so you can... Oh, so I, you can have a floating turd. Yep, got a giant floating turd. Bam. So if you ever get if we ever get the little boy figure, now we have the table bar. <laughs> or if you're really creative. It also stays on there pretty well. If you're really creative, Hedora can have his own private parts, if you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's the 70s. <laughs> Well, to be fair, you could always, like so. Now he's got a little face. Can't we get it to wedge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're children. Anyways, Monsters. putting this back on so I don't lose it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it back in the pile. But yeah, you just I literally just remove it from the it bag. It's pretty presentable in the box. In a pile. It's just that the pile is weird. I like this because it tells a story. Yeah. More so than it just... Than being a penis. Floating. <laughs> like a penis. Uh, speaking of floating, you also get this thing. Which is the flying saucer form that you see when it flies over top of the city and turns everybody into skeletons. No, that's not... Actually, I like the eyes on it. That's pretty good, actually. Never mind. It's yeah, the eyes good. actually stand out probably the most bad. on this one. Oh. They're also straight... Also looks like he's seen things. His eyes are super red. He's like. been to war. I love all the creases and stuff on the top of the head. Looks really good. And then you got like the flippers on the side of the body. Also not uniform, which I can appreciate with the little tail flicking out the back. Got the fingers on the bottom. Also the bottom, looks like it's got some armor plating here. On the bottom looks like not one of those ISO, uh, what are they called? ISO? Trilobites. I think so. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, like those little roly polies from under the seas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they pull them on, they all freak out. Yeah, or the uh, oh, the parasite from Pacific Rim kind of has yeah. that, kind of has that vibe to it. And then you get more of the same fin patterning on the bottom here, but it does smooth out towards the front of the face. I like to do that he's got a little mouthies right there. Ooh, kill it. At least I th it, to me, it looks like a mouth. Like it looks like you got a little lip there and a top lip, and he's just like me 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 me. Kill it. One thing, I kind of wish you could move the fingers. They are soft, so you can flex them a little bit. But they're just kind of there. But coloring is a variation of dark grays, light grays. I'm not seeing any browns. It's just a lot of shades of gray. Not quite 50, but you get in there. And then this rest on here like so. So what you want for the stand is where you see it extends outward a little bit here. That is the part that go towards the fingers. And then press like so. Ah, that's actually kind of neat. Yep. Pretty good. Stays on there actually really well. More so than the tadpole. Now for this, I actually don't mind this stand not being the Tamashi X stand because this honestly is really heavy, so you're not going to have it. So, unlike the Jet Jaguar figure, the stand, this variation of the stand is actually pretty useful. Hey, uh, I'm on Jet Jaguar. I'm going to steal mm. that part. What, my flying one? Yeah. But it's mine. You can have the... Somebody in the Discord was selling them all but the Tadpole. You could buy it off him. I think I only wanted 125 for everything. Well, I don't want everything. I just want the flying turd. But you don't want... Like, uh, this is the main attraction. Don't give a crap about that. Mm. But he... But he, he wants to give like he you got a hit crap. On top of his head. 
He did. <laughs> did you see the movie? <laughs> it's kind of like he's exploding outwards from the top. Yes. Kind of. Well, it's like dried up, and then like the the fecal matter is kind of Gross. leaking out. So, on a fun fact, having to deal with my mom in the hospital, that's definitely. I've, that's I've a double things. gross. Oh man, this thing, this thing popped out again. I will say he's got a lot of ball joints. You might have some that are a bit on the loosey goosey side, so it's just kind of the nature of a monster arts figure. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. But for its detailing, head looks really good. Overall, shape and presentation of Hedora definitely looks like how it does in the film. Uh, one thing, I'd, like I mentioned earlier, the eyes are very dark though on this, with the dark reds, the golds, and the blacks. So it doesn't stand out quite as well as I would like to. But the reds do look really nice on there. It almost kind of has a translucent look to it. Then you get the more poopy brown on the top of the head with the cracking. Uh, some other spots of noticeable details on the back here where you get the yellows and reds on the, on the tumor thing on the back of them. It's not a tumor. I, I think it is a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. So... Got some more of the f sludge coming down. I don't know. To me, Hedora always looked like he was just a big old shaggy carpet. He does. But it's actually cool. like sludge moss stuff coming down off of him. On the front, you get a little bit more reds. On its beard. Its bearded area. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that is a good question. Does this monster have a beard? Is he man among men? <laughs> yes, is he a man among kaijus? Is he a monster? Among these monsters? Then underneath his arms, you do oh, get some like yellows that. and green. I like that. Different colors underneath it. Yeah, it looks really good. How's his penis? Is a different color. No, actually, there's no detail oh, in there. Oh, well, that's kind of again, like we've mentioned before. If it's got a skirt, we're lifting it up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see here, it's just normal plastic. Also, one thing you'll notice. At least mine. The legs are like Loose. useless <laughs> outside of holding it up. Then tail, not too much here, just more detailing on the bottom. But you do get some more reds on the top coming along the back here. I do like the color variant they have on him. Yeah, it's subtle, but it, it, <laughs> it's there. The door is drunk. But yeah, it's enough to make help make him stand out with the reds, the grays. In the dark gray, it's not quite blacks with little variations of brown. But anyways, for its articulation, head can go do stuff a little forward and back, a little bit side to side. You can 360 exorcist style. Arms can go about that far, down about that far, a little bit forward and back, but the shoulder area does get in the in the way. But you get a decent range of motion to play around with it. Plus, you can like rotate the hands around if you really wanted to. Then it's got the little flaps here. As you can see, this one really doesn't like me. But like I mentioned, legs can go in a circular motion. A little bit forward and back. Again, sludge gets in the way of a lot of it. There's technically a bend here. Same with the feet can... Wiggle around as well, but like I mentioned on mine, I think you just got a bad batch. Yeah, it doesn't. You got a bad it just, batch. It'll hold it up. Bad. If I want to make it look like he's stepping on Godzilla, I could do it. <laughs> but he he's never gonna be able to do a flying drop kick. I say as I get him to do a drop kick. <sighs> it was because of this. This was holding his legs up. Jokes on you. Anyways, for the tail. Can go down about that far, up about that far, and a little bit of a wiggle side to side. You know, you can just stay off for now. We'll we'll get that back on there in a second. But anyways, don't forget where he goes. The, the worst, where I can see the exposed <laughs> leg. All right, you want to give me the other Hedoras so we can compare? Other Hedoras? Yes. Hedora. Oh, so here is Hedora with the Bandai vinyl. There's your Shedora. At this is zero two, Kota Bikia. Okay, I guess if you guys want to see, it's about that big next to it. This one I'm currently selling on eBay, but it's selling today. So by the time this video is up, <laughs> it's already gonna be gone. Be gone. 
<sighs> then we got the Bandai Creations Hedora. Uh, these guys will be getting a collectible wars here in the near future. But you can see the in Monster Arts. future, we're going to do it right after this video. Don't you let them know. Well, lie. near future for you guys. <laughs> Anyways. But you'll see the Monster Arts one's a little bit bigger than you, the you, both. You forgot the turd pool in there. He's fine. Nobody cares about the turd pool. You want to give me some of the old Godzillas on the behind you? Uh, we got a 62 hanging out back there. How about this? Sure. I'll take the Mecha. So oh here is 74 Mecha, 62 Godzilla, and then the one I see people posing it with is I, the... I feel kind of offended by that. 64. Well, this was your favorite one. You're talking about the size difference. This is, to me, alright, so one thing I think that annoys me is if they make the Godzilla, it has to be that size. At least the scale. If they make it that big, it's going to be wrong. But you know they're gonna make it that big, right? Yeah, I hope not. Although, granted, again, it's gonna make people mad if they make it that big, though. <laughs> so it's like you can't win. Yeah, you lose, lose. Them but personally, I think scale-wise, this matches more than that one. It does, honestly. Hedora was a little bigger. Yeah, which uh, it's slightly annoying because now if they make more showas, you already know Hedora is gonna be out. But then again, he was already out to begin with, so I guess you can't really win either way. Yeah. Yeah, personally, I just like the scale in general instead of movie. Because <laughs> even like, I guess if you try to stand him up more. No, it's nah, he's still pretty big. Mecha Godzilla is pretty close. Yeah, but even like the Mecha Godzilla, I think Mecha Godzilla is slightly taller than Godzilla. It's and like the, the 62 is a little bit bigger. But that's the one thing the Monster Arts line. They, outside of the Heisei, they don't really scale. I don't think they care, honestly. Probably not. They were going to buy them anyways. <laughs> but anyways, uh, to conclude this video, Hedora Sweet. Uh, for 200 bucks. I actually think you get enough here. Looks pretty good. To merit it. Because you almost get, like, one full statue plus a figure that poses. I and mean, then you get a little pee, -pee accessory. It's pretty solid to me. I don't know about figure of the year candidates for sure, but it's not I don't know, compared, like would you, I would I would say Judge Jaguar is probably better than this overall. Uh, nah, actually, I I I uh I take that back because that can actually sit on a stand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it has I like Jet overall for the price. Yeah, but the Jet Jaguar come with three figures, technically. You get the little unpainted anime, dude. Get the hell out that of here. That the knees can't nonsense. stay on. Before I squirt the hot sauce Like in I said, face. the biggest thing that offended me about that is the stand. This one, I don't really got any glaring issues outside of um, mainly just ball joint problems, but that's kind of to be expected. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys would like to uh, pick up some collectibles for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. They do have Monster Arts available on there. If you guys would like to check them out, help support the channel, get yourself some sweet collectibles for yourself. But anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, look at the day with channel. Donate. We greatly appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.